What's up guys? Uh, today's video is going to be another look using the, the beauty, the blood lust. This packaging is so cool. I love it. But yeah, um, I feel like I want to do a look every day. I think that would be pretty cool. So I think I'm going to do... So yesterday I did like a halo eye and I feel like today... I want to do like a cut crease and then tomorrow like a smoky eye and then like the day after that something like neutral um yeah I'll probably just like do one for like a week or two that way it gives people like something to play with you know especially because so many people have like gotten this um so I don't want to try to repeat shades, so let's go in with... So I prime my lids with the Max Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Um, so we're going to do cut crease, but I think... Mm, I think I want to use this shade like on the crease part. Hmm. Yeah. So this is going to be like a dork cut crease. So step one, eyes are prime. Step two, let's go in with a crease brush real quick. And I'm going to go in with Royal Pain, which is like a, um, a muted bubblegum pink color. And I'm just going to swirl my brush in there. Tap it off. And then kind of just go. I don't know why I really like this shade. I really like, like, bright shades that are, like, really muted because, like, they just look unique, you know? Yeah, that shade is super nice. Okay, let's so just do that. So the thing with cut creases that I always struggle with is that I always never take my shade up high enough here. So when I do my cut crease, it basically covers it. So I have to be mindful. So I'm just going to take that eyeshadow basically up to my brow. And then just go like that. That's a super nice color. I'd honestly just wear that on its own. I like that. So. Just do that. And then. I'm going to take a darker color. I'm going to take the High King. Which is a red toned purple. And then I really want to like focus that into the crease because it's going to make it look deeper. We'll see how deep this looks on my eye, but let's see. I think I might need something a little bit darker. Mm, yeah, I think I'm going to go darker a little bit. It is a really nice color though. I guess that did do a really good job of deepening it out. Okay. I think I just want to go like a little bit deeper. So I'm actually going to go in with Blood Queen, which is a cool tone purple. And that one is mm, darker. It's probably like the darkest purple in the palette. Uh, compared to the Alien palette, the Alien palette has a purple, but that's like... I feel like that one is more like a royal purple. Or honestly, I don't know what royal purple looks like, but the one in the alien palette just seems deeper to me. So, okay, so I'm going to take Blood Queen and then kind of just put that in the crease as well. Yeah, I like that one better. That one was way better. It did what I wanted it to do. 
which is just to deepen out the the immediate crease area. Okay. Awesome. So there's that. And then what I'm going to do is get something. I want something small because I want to pack a deep color out here. So I'm going to get this brush. This is, oh, did I tell you what brush I was using? So the first color that I used was the M441 just to swirl the light color around. And then to get more precision in the crease, I went with a M506 because it's a little bit smaller. And this one is an M124, which is like a flat brush. So I'm going to, um, let's see. So I'm going to, oh, I wonder, I don't know if I should do Vile Serpent or Executioner. I think I'm going to go with Executioner because it does have shimmer in it. And I feel like it would marry with Sworn Enemy really well on the lid. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with Executioner. God, the Executioner shade is so cool. So I'm just gonna pat this here. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna pat that there. Okay, and then I wanna like blend out the edges of that one so I'm gonna go on with the same crease small little crease one the 506 and then I will just diffuse the edges of that black let's see I might have to go in with the purple I'm gonna go on with the probably hiking the more like warm tone purple just to blend out the black Oh, that looks nice. So the one thing I will say is that if you're going to use a black, I feel like you got to like, I feel like it's better to pat the black because I feel like it makes it easier to blend for this. So like, yeah, I like that way better. Because it's making it look a little bit more smoky. And because I did lose a lot of the depth right here, I'm just going to get the same shade and then just tap it on. Yeah, especially because you use all the glitter. So I'm just going to tap that and then I'm just going to tap that around. Because the edges are already blended. Cool. All right. And then time to do the cut crease. Uh, I'm going to go in with. Dang, where's it at? The Jeffree Star. Drug Lord, um, liquid lip, just because it is um, a wet texture and it dries matte, so it creates like a sticky base. So I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand. Um, and then I will grab. <sighs> Probably this one. It's a uh, Morphe 213. It's like a super small. 
I think it's supposed to be a smudger brush, but I like its precision for a cut crease. Okay, so let's go like, oh, there's like a hair. Okay, so let's go. So if I'm looking like that, I want to do here. like that and then I'll just get whatever of the lipstick I have and then kind of just like pull it across my lid So I'm really pulling it because I don't want any parts to get like chunky. Do that. Okay, and then I'm just gonna use my finger to like pull out the edges. So I'm just gonna pat out the edges here. <clears throat> I don't want the color to be like too harsh. Okay, so we got that. And then I'm gonna go in with Sworn Enemy, this golden, golden blacky shade. And I feel like I'm just gonna go in with my finger because that's usually, well, let me do a brush first and then see how that looks. I'll use this brush. This is one that I got from Sephora for glitter. It's like this little rubber spoolie thing. So I'm just gonna go in with that. Okay. So I'm just gonna go in with Sworn Enemy on it. I don't know if it's coming out how I want it. Oh, it's actually really nice. Okay, it's working, it's working. Uh, let me try it with my finger because I want to see. See, it's just like with a finger, it's like just much better. It just looks like so metal. Wow, that looks insane. And then for like the edges, I'll just use the little brush just to get a little bit closer. Oh shit. So I'll just go like there.
And then I'm gonna get the same little, what is the one, two, four that I used originally to pat the black. And with no extra product, I'm just gonna tap over the gold. Well, actually, I think I'm gonna go in with the Blood Queen, the darker purple, just so I can marry the black and the gold. Yeah, I feel like that'd be smart. Ooh, I don't know if I like that actually. I'm just gonna go back it with Executioner and then really over define that. I'll just pat it over. And then I'm just gonna use my finger to kind of pull the gold a little bit more. Yeah, I think I like that. That's better. The purple just didn't look that good. It looked like off, you know? So now let's do a little bit of the lash line. I think I'm gonna do the royal paint on the lash line. No, I'm gonna go in with high king and then just smoke that underneath. Uh -huh. mm, let's go in with this. This is a Morphe E18. Let's get in there. Okay. I think I want to take that high king a little bit more up, like right here. I feel like I want to blend this part. Okay, let's get that little small one, 506, and then let's blend that black. A little bit more out. Okay, let's pop in an inner corner. I think I'm gonna go with a matte inner corner. I feel like I don't do that a lot. So I'm gonna go in with this Morphe E17. It's like a crease brush. And I'm gonna go in with your majesty, the matte white. It's not even white, it's like a matte grayish yellow and then I'm just gonna pat that right here yeah so it just kind of helps brighten the the inner part of the eye you know without needing shimmer so that is this eye complete um yeah it's pretty fun I don't know if I like this combination of colors, but so far so good, you know. The shadows perform pretty well. The only one that was like giving me issues was the black one just for not blending. But I figured out that if you get like another color, you can use it to like buff it out. So there's that. Um, yeah, that was like the only one. And then... Yeah, so that was the only one right now. So, yeah, that's the end for this video. The next one is probably going to be like a smoky eye. And I'm really excited about that one. Alrighty, guys. I'll talk to you later.